I discovered a special place in Kelloland that tells the story of a man who worked tirelessly to build and promote the city of Sioux Falls. At the Pettigrew Home and Museum, you can learn about Senator Richard Franklin Pettigrew, the man responsible for bringing in all five early railroads and developing businesses in the community. I had the chance to take a guided tour through the museum. Take a look. Here at the Pettigrew Home and Museum, you not only can take a step back into Sioux Falls history, but also walk through the home of one of the state's first full-term senators. Adam Nelson is joining us to tell us what this building all has. So first off, just tell me a little bit about the history of the building. Okay, well this is the Pettigrew Home and Museum and it's the home of R.F. Pettigrew, one of South Dakota's first senators. Uh, it was originally not Pettigrew's home though, it's known as the Pettigrew Home and Museum, but it was originally built for a lawyer in town named Thomas McMartin and his new wife Jenny. So it's an 1889 Queen Anne style home and uh, Pettigrew lived a couple houses down and he was always kind of interested in this home and finally in 1911 he purchased this big beautiful Queen Anne style home for twelve thousand um, dollars. The original idea was he was going to spend his retirement years living in the home and he built a museum on the back end of it and that was going to be sort of his hobby as he retired. Unfortunately about a year after it was built in the 1920s he passed away and left it to the city of Sioux Falls and it's been a free public city museum ever since. I wish I could buy a house right now for $12,000. I know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a probably a million dollars today, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, it was, it was a lot of money back then. Yeah. Right. And now this is also kind of with the old courthouse and museum, and how did that all end up together? So this place has been a museum since about 1926, and uh, the city ran it for, for decades as a museum, and uh, then when the old courthouse museum came into being in 1974, it just made more sense for one organization to run both the county and city museums. So the Siouxland Heritage Museums were formed to run the Pettigrew Home Museum and the old courthouse museum. When coming to visit this place and take a tour, mm -hmm. what will people see? Well, you start out in the museum portion of things, and the, the Pettigrew is mostly a city of Sioux Falls museum. Uh, it not only tells the, the history of the city of Sioux Falls with an exhibit about um, Sioux Falls from 1893 to 1919, you can see a lot of the buildings that are historic buildings now, you can see when they were built, what they were originally built for, and their original intention. Um, we also have the original Pettigrew Museum, which is Cabinet of Curiosities, and it's got the original artifacts that Pettigrew collected throughout his life. And then usually we have a gallery on Pettigrew's life, and right now that is his travels to Asia down on the first floor. So there's three galleries to look at, and then you get to take a tour of the home. Uh, you get to walk through the, the home of Pettigrew, and it's decorated and set up just as it would have been in the 19-teens and 1920s. Okay, now I have to ask, are the rumors true? <laughs> is his house haunted? Well, that is what you'll find on Google. Um, <laughs> I've worked here for 15 years. I've never seen anything personally, but we don't help ourselves with that either. Uh, we give haunted tours every year, and this is one of the locations on the tour. But the bottom line of the haunted tour every year is, believe it or not. And uh, right. I've never seen anything, but we certainly have plenty of stories about this old house. Have you ever had any paranormal people coming in and trying to test that theory? Uh, uh, every year, uh, different paranormal organizations, psychics, things like that, come through the house. Um, some people say they find things, others um, you know, come out with, with not much to look at. But um, part of the deal is it's a very old house. It's 130 years old and with noisy pipes and, right. and old electronics and stuff, crazy things do happen. But personally, I've never seen it. You start to imagine it and just think it's happening. Maybe. Right. Yeah, I know. Exactly. It'd be fun to camp out over in his room and <laughs> see for a we, night. We've had a staff <laughs> member try that, but he, he came home and said he didn't see as much as he thought he would. But right. yeah. Well, back to the um, exhibits now. Mm -hmm. Are they here year round? Do you change them or what do you guys do when it comes to that? Yep, uh, the, the three galleries are, are kind of on different timetables. Uh, the big gallery upstairs where we're standing right now is about a 10 year exhibit. It's about as close to a permanent exhibit as we have. Uh, and then we have the original Pettigrew Museum, the Cabinet of Curiosities. That pretty much stays up permanently. But then down on first floor we try to change it up every year so you have something new to see every time you come here. Do you guys have programming or events that take place here as well? Absolutely. We're coming up. Um, one of the things we do every other month is History Happy Hour. Uh, and it's just what it sounds like. We have a historical speaker and beer and wine. And uh, it's a 21 and over program. Where for, do I sign up? Yeah, <laughs> right downstairs. You can get tickets. Uh, they're $10. And we do that about every other month. And that brings just a new group of people to the Pettigrew. Uh, we also have our holiday open house. And uh, we just do a variety of different programs throughout the year. But a couple of open houses. 
things like that. What is one thing that people who may be familiar with the Pettigrew House and Museum may not know? Well, the house was built in 1889, but Pettigrew added a museum addition on in 1923. And what people might not know is that the siding actually on the museum is made out of petrified wood, which is basically a precious mineral. So they not only put some on the building, but they sided the entire building in petrified wood, which is crazy to think about. So this makes it even worth more than we probably uh, Oh, absolutely, think. yes. <laughs> Just for that The siding would probably be worth <laughs> yeah. way more. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, thank you so much, Adam, for joining us today and telling us about the Pettigrew Home and Museum. Thank you. The Pettigrew Home and Museum is located on North Duluth Avenue. You can stop by or give them a call to schedule a tour. When we come back, we'll talk about an event with a cause and tell you how to nominate this year's Women of Excellence. Stay with us.